The modify structure which selects the pluggable and sets up the interface is essentially the same as other Ethernet tests. In this example, we have a 100 giggy interface which has been set up and we can see at the bottom left there is a green arrow indicating we have a loop or connectivity to the other end of the circuit. The next step would be to identify the services to be used on this circuit. Do this by selecting Zoom in on the Services tab at the center of the screen. This is where you set up the various services to be used. For the first service we will display voice. Notice that voice over IP has three different codec options, accessible via the profile button. You can also set number of calls which will determine the critical information rate, CIR. The names of the services can be edited. This may be useful in a report for example. Under test parameters you have the option to enforce traffic policing and the rate in percentage. When this is selected the throughput is increased one step over the critical information rate plus excess information rate or otherwise over the critical information rate to compare against the expected maximum throughput threshold to declare a pass-fail verdict. The next step is to enter your service level agreement, SLA, information rate. You have the option of percent, megabits or gigabits. You can also check the critical information rate box, which is default and critical information rate plus excess information rate. One or both of these boxes must be checked for the test. At the bottom of the page under Mac IP UDP you can see the settings for each option which can also be edited, if required. After this process is complete for service 1, you may return to the profile tab at the bottom to configure up to 9 more services. The next step is to start the test or set a timer at the top of the screen for when the test should start. Select ARM to activate the timer. For a delayed test be sure to have the correct time set on the test platform and have the test set plugged in. Many high bandwidth circuits require extensive test time to validate the integrity of the path.